<laughs> you're down there, you know, you go, whoa, and it's a shadow of somebody else, you know, going yeah. by, you know, but uh, there were things like, you know, I saw a manta ray, you know, covered up, and it was just the eyes above the sand oh, on the bottom. Did you see? A manta ray, you know, and then all of a sudden it took off and, you know, kind of sailed away. But yeah. there, there's some beauty down there. It's untouched, and uh, you're kind of alone with yourself, you know, and I feel it's kind of like you get the same sensation sometimes when you do some of the dangerous stunts, like on the show. Yeah. If you survive it, you know, there's a great elation and adrenaline rush that you feel. You come up and, and it's just, it's just great. Just to prove what you can survive, let's see a clip from the show, shall we? It's, um, this is the one when you're sort of running along the railway line and get sort of hammered in the old shoulder, I think. Here we go. I must leave it there for the moment. Thank yeah. you. I'll say hello again. Spring seven. As would Nick own. Yeah. Please wish my sisters, Kathy Mansbridge, who will be 21 on the 8th. Happy birthday, Kathy, for yesterday. And Happy Sharon birthday, Mansbridge, Kathy. who will be 18 on the 9th. What a very second one? Sharon. Sharon. Happy birthday, Sharon. Good. Very well done, Nick. On the 9th. A very happy birthday, love from Ina, Ian, and the girls XXXXXX. And I said that too. Michael, if they'd known Michael, Michael was on, they'd have wanted Michael to do it. They would, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I got one here. Uh, to Graham Oliver, happy birthday from his mum, dad, and Kane. And Graham Oliver is whereabouts, is he? Where is he? Graham is in Shropshire. Mark at Drayton. Yeah. Okay, and you said you Shropshire. wanted to say hello to your millions of fans. Cause yeah, the friends that, you know, Dempsey make peace, you know, because I got a lot of letters, and they all said, if you're here, if I did all the things they asked me to do, you know, it different times I'd be jumping around the street like this. <laughs> so, hello. Okay. It's, uh, yes, it's very good because when um, when you found out there that uh, Mike was going to be on the show this morning, you were saying that people wrote into you and... Oh, they got tapes and flowers and letters and all kinds of stuff, you know, because they know. They just know when someone's going to be on. It was like last week, so I didn't know I was going to be on, you know. And uh, the stuff starts showing up, so it's nice to know they're out there, you know. The success has been quite stunning, hasn't it? It's been amazing here. Amazing. I've never experienced anything like this. And, really? Yeah. I mean, in the, in the States, it was because they didn't know. It's like when we first came over, you know, people walk by, what are you shooting? You know, we go, Dempsey and make these, and they go, what? what? Wow. And they couldn't even say it, you know. And now, you can't shoot near a school because they'll leave the school. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, you can't argue with it. It's, it's working good. Terrific. It's a pity we don't have time for any of you, but... <laughs> Michael Brandon from, of course, Dempsey Make Peace, 20 past 8. What a popular gentleman you are, sir. Uh, we have had about a dozen phone calls just on this one piece of paper this morning. 11 out of the 12 are about Michael Brandon. Maureen Jones. Helen. Hello, Hello Helen. Uh, <laughs> Sharon Vince. Oh, wait. Sharon Vince of Birmingham. Wave to Sharon Vince, please. Hi, Sharon. Uh, some, an anonymous caller wants a signed photograph. We're in Luton. Um, <laughs> Uh, somebody else, um, somebody else thinks Steve Davis is on a few probably from somewhere in the Open University, love. Um, <laughs> and Julianne Everton from Barnsley wants to say hello to Michael because she is your greatest fan. Miss Helen. Yeah, so hello Shirley Ann and Barnsley. Hello Shirley Ann and Barnsley. Uh, Michael, do you still meditate every morning? Yeah, I did this morning. I have to, I get nervous coming on these things. What does it, so what does it do for you? It just relaxes you for the day? Yeah, it just makes me a little bit calmer, you know, and... Uh, Hug it kind of centers me for that. You jump up, you start working, getting on the phone, you know. Yeah. It's like, see, what I'm doing now is I'm writing. So I get up, 
you know, it's just like before I jump into anything, just kind of like, just relax, you know, center myself a little bit, then do whatever I got to do. Do you pick a central thing to think about, you know, something specific? The idea is to think about nothing. But how can you do that? Just let yeah. it run out. How can you think about, I mean, Henry does it, obviously, involuntarily, but how, <laughs> how can you <laughs> think about nothing deliberately? Well, if you concentrate either on, like there's a sound that you have of your own uh, nervous system, which is kind of a, a whine, it's a high-pitched sound, and if you can calm yourself to hear that and just focus in on that, or your own breathing, and then let, your, your mind's going to work anyway, because yeah. it's, it's always churning up garbage, you know, they, in, um, what do they call it in, Ch in Chile, it's called chicharu, it's like chickens rubbing its legs together, you know what I mean, it's just constantly going. Just let that stuff run out, because it's thinking about 75,000 things. Do you sit down? Do you lie down? Do you stand? I just kind of sit, or you can lay down flat, you know, and just relax. It's like what I do when we're working uh, on the Dempsey Makepeace show, and you get tired, you know, it's like Friday, you've been pumping it out, doing a lot of stuff. I lay down at lunch for 20 minutes, and it's like the equivalent to me of like three, four hours sleep. Really? That's very interesting. I mean, it gives us a chance now to pause for thought as we go to Blackpool and join Jonathan Dimbleby.